My name is Ted. This is my beautiful wife, Shay. And we live here in Melbourne with our young family. And this is where we started our business. We're business partners and husband and wife. There's no off switch. We talk about it over the kitchen table. We wake up at night together and talk about it. It's a big part of our life. We do it together? We're building this business for our family because we want to have control over our lifestyle. <laughs> but we also want to show our kids that this is possible, that if you have an idea or a dream, you can make it happen. We are a young business. We put all of our life savings on the line. We look into the Sharks to help us really to take our business to the next level. Hello Sharks. Hi. My name is Ted and this is my beautiful wife Shay. And we own a very healthy business called Crisp. We're here today to ask for $700,000 in return for 10% of equity. The idea for Crisp started two years ago. I was hugely pregnant and we couldn't find good, healthy food on the go. So we saw a huge opportunity in that market. So we started Crisp Creative Salad, where our customers can choose from our menu of salads, or if they're feeling really creative, they can choose their own salad from scratch. Either way, every single salad is made fresh to order and is completely customizable. This means you will never receive a soggy, pre-made salad at Crisp. We opened our first shop 18 months ago and we were blown away by the response. We're talking lines out of the door and down the street. So within nine months, we'd opened our second shop and we're just about to open our third. In our first year, we had turnover of $1.2 million and we're on track to exceed $2.4 million this year. Wow, that's pretty impressive. We were recently winners in the 2014 Telstra Business Awards. We're ready to scale up our business and take it to a national level and start preparing it for franchising. But to do so, we need your help. So before we find out if you're hungry for a healthy investment, <laughs> Michaeli's making up two of our most popular salads. The chicken chipotle salad and the superfood detox is our vegetarian option. How many days a week are the stores open? Are they five days or seven days? We've got two CBD stores, so they're open five days a week. We're just about to open our third, which will be City Fringe, which will be seven days a week. How are you handling the management of this? Are you both in it full time? So currently I'm in the business full time. Two years ago, I gave up my corporate position to concentrate fully on the business. Each of our two shops has a full time manager. I'm in the shops approximately two or three days a week working on the growth of the business. And the other time, I also get our two children uh, for one day of the week as well. As you should. Thank you. And th those two managers are on a profit share. So we're really seeing that change in behavior. They're thinking like owners, they're acting like owners. It's been extremely effective for us. Do you work in the business, sorry? I work in the business part-time. Part-time, I'm still in management consulting. This is the superfood detox, the one closest. That's the one I live forever in, is it? That's right. That's right. You'll be a different man in yeah, about exactly. three minutes. Oh, cool. I'm looking forward <laughs> to that. Oh, wow. This has got a fair bit of kick to it. Which is the vegetarian one? The one is closest to you is the vegetarian one. Oh, the other one, then. Thank you very much. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Beautiful. Delicious. Yum. Can you run us through kind of in percentage terms, in terms of your cost base? The financial model that we've reached now is our the cost of goods at 40%, our cost of staff at 30%, with a full-time manager in each of the shops, rent and other costs at about 15%, and our current margins are now at 15%. And are the costs associated outside of the stores themselves? Like, you know, are you taking a salary and you know, other support centre costs? And... I've taken a very small salary, $18,000, just for tax purposes. We are committed to growing this business and we believe it's too early for us to take anything more out. We've been living on Shay's income for the last 18 months. And how much debt have you got in the business? So we use $250,000 of our own savings. We've borrowed $200,000 from the bank and of which we've paid down about 50,000. So there's about 150 of other debt on the balance sheet and that's just the bank and then our debt and there's no other positions in the business. You've put a valuation of your business of seven million. That's correct. Just talk us through your logic on how you arrived at that valuation. So we see each shop turning over about a million dollars per year. We're currently at three shops. The investment amount that we've asked for today would actually enable us to have 10 shops up and running over the next 18 months. That's 10 shops turning over a million dollars per year. 
even at the 15% margins that we're currently at, that's earnings of $1.5 million per year within 18 months. It's very confusing though, because obviously as you continue to grow, the average sale will reduce per store. That's just what happens. And also, if you go down a franchising model, then that's a completely different financial model as well. And even though it is quality and great, it's not first. You know, I've got my own failed salad bar that I did, which was our good old tosses in the early days. So I know some of the risks that come with it. The other thing is you're asking for 20 times your multiple, which is a lot, considering the industry's five. So really where the business is valued at, as of today, is 1.75 million. I had 1.8. I'm 1.65. Is there any way that you would consider a lower valuation on the business? Like, but we're not talking half, we're talking lower. I think if we got the right partner, then that the value that that partner would bring would, would be so huge for us. So we would consider it. You've done a great job and you've got way past the danger point for a lot of small businesses where, as we know, there's a very high failure rate. But for me, I like businesses where the barriers to entry, the ability for other people to compete are higher. I like things that have a little bit more of a, a protective wall around them. I know you'll be successful and I wish you a, a huge amount of luck, but I'm out. Thank you very much. So Shay and Ted, there is no doubt that the raw food, whole food market is absolutely on the increase. The challenge for me is how do I know that this is sustainable as a business, meaning that the guy next door isn't just going to all of a sudden toss his salads. Copycats is very easy. So there's nothing really that I can see that you can keep absolutely unique to yourselves. For that reason, and only that reason, I am out. Appreciate it, thank you. Thank you. you. I think you guys are sensational. I think you've executed this superbly well. But because there's still a few uncertainties and it's relatively early, unfortunately, I'm out. Thank you. Thanks, John. I'm at 1.65. And so I was contemplating whether to be rude and, and make an offer along those lines. I think it, it's good. I actually came into the tank really looking forward to getting into the, the food, food service, something industry, because it, it's something I have no exposure to. Fully wanting to do it with someone who did have exposure to it. So without that, I am hesitant. I would feel a little blind going into this without that background. My deal was leaning towards Janine. No pressure. I'll be willing to invest $350,000 on a $1.65 million valuation. So I'll take 21% for 350,000 bucks. So you want the 700, so he's saying, he'd go hard and he's hoping someone else, the only one that's left, So he's saying he'll be a possible partner. Janine? We really appreciate that offer. Thank you so much. Because it is a lower valuation. I understand your reasoning for that. I'd love to hear a little bit more about how you can grow this business with us and what kind of partner you would be. I'll be quite blunt here. Um, I don't know anything about the food industry aside from how to consume it. I'm not after a lifestyle business. I'm out to help you grow. If you can do your 10 stores, you'll get near to that $7 million valuation and this will all be a distant nightmare for you. I don't have skills in that space, hence why I've only gone for half. Thank you. I love you guys. 
you know, I look at what is make business work. It's people and it's product, it's positioning, it's price, it's all those. You've got people in spades. The product is great. There's no question that the sales are great, so the consumer's going, we want this. But the financial model's not right. It's not scalable. And if it's just raw ingredients, all you do is one morning you wake up and you see that there's a drought somewhere and you go, oh, that's where my costs are gone. I wish I wasn't out, but unfortunately I am. Thank you, Janine. Thank you very much. My deal was contingent on someone else and I don't plan going into it blind, so to speak. So I'm done as well. Thank you very much. I hope you can slay all the demons that Janine has identified and you just, we'll sit there and kick ourselves next season when you've got 10 stores open. That'd be awesome. Ted and Shay, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. Great to meet you. Thanks, Thanks to meet guys. You. You'll do no well. Thank you. See Cheers. you guys. Bye. That's a team. My God, that's a team. Yeah. I was in the salad business and I failed. There was some sort of storm somewhere and our cost doubled. It was a fantastic experience. We had some great feedback. We came very close to a deal. It was very exciting. But overall, we're going to leave very happy.